I think my I'm probably the full set here as well because I thought I was going to be a marketeer. I was a member of the Chartered Institute of Marketing before I got anywhere even thought about SIPs. But so I go off to a, a job interview at Black and Decker and FMCG uh, for a marketing assistance job and end up in procurement. And I hadn't the foggiest idea what I was actually going to do. But 35 plus years later, um, it's been a fabulous career. And I'd say about the last 12 to 13 years I've been doing consulting and training and working on the back of my FM, FMCG automotive and aerospace experience as a practitioner. So like everybody else, I guess it's um, I just fell into it. And I think one maybe one differentiator I can offer is a lot of the time I've been doing business training and consulting is I've been working about 50 percent of my time with sales professionals. So I've been stealing the procurement negotiation toolkit and telling the enemy how to beat procurement. So it's interesting to straddle both sides of the divide. Well, I was always told, I, I, I came up in the years when SIPS was really putting itself on the map and procurement was getting access to the boardroom. And I was kind of always told that don't present procurement as a service providing function because it diminishes its strategic impact and the perception of it of being a real strategic function. We need to be recognized as standing up for ourselves at the boardroom table. However, after so many years of hearing story after story about procurement not being sufficiently recognized, I've kind of come to the conclusion that value is in the eye of the beholder. And it's not for procurement, particularly in the indirect space, it's not for procurement to say to a stakeholder in IT or HR or in operations that we understand the supplier better than you do. So my, my, I've come around to this idea that procurement's job at a fundamental level is to make other people successful on the value agenda that they own. So only somebody in design or in IT can really define what value means to them. So my view is about procurement needs to modulate its engagement with, with stakeholders so that it presses all the right buttons with whichever constituency we're talking about. So it's, an, it's the opposite of a one size fits all. We are the people who are gonna challenge and confront you and tell you how to do your job. Because there's gonna be some occasions when that might be the case, but I think in the indirect space, we need to be much more adaptable to the needs of stakeholders. Well, well, Paul, I think one of the, the really amusing characteristics of procurement people or being in procurement is that everybody hates your guts because, and I think primarily it's because you're bureaucratic, you slow things down, you kind of get in the way of other people doing their job. And I think it's also because in our private lives, we're all buyers and everybody thinks they've got, you know, it's the old adage about a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. So one of the things that I think procurement people have to kind of ready themselves for is how do they deal with that low level suspicion or even hostility from some stakeholder groups. So they have to kind of be, have kind of a tough shell to be able to deal with some of the sarcasm and the criticism that comes back from, from stakeholders. So, you know, they really have to be very deliberate in trying to keep their morale high. So they don't lose sight of what the prize is, that they are there to help people be successful in their jobs. And of course, to deliver against their targets, but recognize that it's not going to be an easy ride. Well, Paul, I think um, I think in the round, I think I've been pretty satisfied with with the path that I took, uh, although it started with an accident of falling into procurement like the rest of us. But I think one of the key choices young people face today is is whether to specialize in procurement or have a more general business education. And I think there's a lot of discussion these days about soft skills. 
and I'd like to challenge some of the some of some of the thoughts around that. I I think uh, when I think about where I was when I started, I think if you're going to specialize in or if you're going to do procurement or any business function, I think it's really really important that you become you're you're committed to becoming excellent at it. And and I th I say that because. If you're a stakeholder and some young procurement person or someone from another function comes into your space with ad offering advice and support and help, they have to offer something you don't already have. And great interpersonal skills or generic negotiation skills are kind of the, the minimum that you need to have. It's like the order qualifier, if you like. The thing that I think ultimately makes the difference is that you bring something to the table that nobody else in the, their domain actually brings. So I'm all for really deepening specialist procurement skills, but as long as you're house trained, that's key. So yeah, you have to be really good.